Hey guys, Champion Productions here coming back at you with another Transformers discussion video. I hope you're doing well this morning, this afternoon, or this evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. Either way, I greatly appreciate you tuning in for today's discussion. And in today's discussion, I want to talk about how the new Transformers Legacy Minosaur Combiner can potentially affect how Hasbro tackles Combiners from here on out, whether it be in Legacy or within future Transformer toy lines. Now, disclaimer, none of this information is confirmed. This is just thoughts and theories that I have. And if you have your own thoughts and theories, please leave it down in the comment section below. I love reading your comments. I greatly appreciate it. So if you have any ideas, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. But getting back to today's video, turning the clocks back to around 2016, we were given the Transformers Combiner Wars toy line. And in this toy line, we were given a whole plethora of different combiners. Combiners like Bruticus, Superion, and Computron, which were completely original G1 designs. And then we were given some brand new designs such as Skyrain and Victorion. Honestly, we got a whole ton of different figures, but there was a few problems with this toy line. So as a combiner, when you completed your group, you were given four deluxe class figures that created the limbs and then one Voyager class figure that made the center torso. Now with the new Transformers Legacy combiner of Minasaur, they have four deluxe class limbs, which has not changed, but this time we are getting a commander class sized torso. Now, what that means for Minasaur in the new Legacy toy line, it essentially is going to be a more proportionate figure in terms of the limbs. You see, if you look at some of the old Combiner Wars figures, you can see that honestly, the arms hang a little bit low and it kind of gave a kind of weird aesthetic. Now, there were upgrade kits you could purchase to make your figures look a little bit better and a little bit more presentable, but that is third party. Just official Hasbro, this is kind of what you are looking at when you completed a combiner. Now, I think they are going to be, combiners are going to be a little bit more proportionate, and especially if we look at Minasaur here, we can see some of these early leaked images. He definitely looks a little bit better and a little bit more proportionate. Now, the reason I think Hasbro is going to change the way they tackle combiners based off this new Minasaur figure is because of 2016. So, I think that's how Hasbro is going to tackle combiners from here on out. And the reason I think that is because, again, it gives us a much better looking final product. And that does beg the question, how would they do that for characters like the Aerial Bots? Obviously, here for Minasaur, the Commander Class title for Motormaster being the center torso is not strapped to Motormaster himself. It's rather strapped to the trailer Motormaster comes with, which does indeed unfold to become the center torso for the uh, he beca he essentially becomes the mainframe of the entire combiner body and all the other limbs will sort of attach to the center piece so it becomes like a skeleton for the other characters once again how is this going to affect future combiners me personally if it were me i would try to do commander class sized figures for all the other combiners now again it's going to be difficult to do characters like the aerial bots like this because well Silver Bolt doesn't come with a giant trailer that can just strap onto the back. He's like a Concord, like, public transport jet. He's not a semi-truck and trailer. So Hasbro is able to get away with Minasaur, but in terms of doing future combiners, I'm not sure how they would execute it. But I do think it'd be in Hasbro's best interest to figure out a way to execute combiners like how they're executing Minasaur here. Because if Minasaur is looking the way he is, and the in-hand... Uh, product will be as good looking as it is on uh on photos i think it's honestly going to be a really solid combiner it's definitely going to be way 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 better than any of the combiners we got back in 2016 so uh, that's pretty much my thoughts and opinions on this whole topic right now again none of this information is confirmed i'm just doing this based off the leaked images i've seen and based off of you know 2016 versus now what we're getting with a new combiner and me personally I do believe that Hasbro is going to start making the center torso a commander class sized figure whether it's going to be a Voyager class figure packed with maybe the main frame and that could be potentially how they do it you may just get a Voyager class figure packaged with the frame of the combiner like that that could be how they do it I don't know
But that's just kind of my thoughts and theories. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. How do you think Hasbro will tackle future combiners? Do you agree with my thoughts and opinions? Or do you think Hasbro is kind of done with combiners after Minosaur? It's all up in the air. I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions again. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to leave a like, comment what you think once again, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Chamber Productions, signing off.